The forces of Mordor marched towards the White City of Minas Tirith, led by Gothmog, the Lieutenant of Sauron. The strength of men is failing, but Gandalf the White has arrived to rally the defenders. Join us in this battle report as we have two thematic armies clashing in the Middle-Earth strategy battle game. My name's Daly, first time on the channel, so I've brought a really competitive list, um, which is sort of based on the defense of Minas Tirith. Got Denethor, Gandalf the White, Pippin, and a Knight of the White Tower, and then just a bunch of Minas Tirith warriors. Couple with bow, couple with shield, a um, couple with shield spear. So, looking forward to getting into it. Hi, I'm Jacob Lucas, the Conquest creator, and in this game I have got a Assault on Minas Tirith army. Daily's gone with the defenders, so I'm going to go with the attackers. That means I've got Gothmog, a Troll Chieftain, and a Nazgul. Now this Nazgul lost his Fell Beast, but I'm sure that one of them somewhere in that battle did. And I've also just got a horde of Moranans. I haven't wasted any time with any bows or anything like that, we're just going to get stuck in with this army list. Today's gaming board is the ruins of a city of men, which is fitting for our two thematic armies. We're playing Domination. Uh, one of the sides has the objective sort of set up fairly close to the board. One has them set further back. So with my weaker warriors, what I'm thinking is I'll set up sort of take, take the back objectives um, and then maybe try and swing around and get Jacob to try and break through for the rear ones and I'll actually swing around and grab his back ones uh, and we'll see if Denethor can uh, stave off madness long enough to, to get a few kills on the board. I'm feeling super confident going into this game. I've got Gothmog who's great at killing men and he gives all orcs around him hatred men, which is plus one to wound. So I should be able to absolutely rip through Daly's guys. And he's got Gandalf the White, which look, isn't the most popular choice. You don't see him in competitive matches very often. So look, this should be an easy win for the evil side. This video is brought to you by our brand new Patreon page. These videos take a ton of time to produce. And if you wanna to continue to see these videos improving in quality, Joining up to the Patreon is a great way to ensure that's going to happen. Not only will joining our Patreon support this channel to grow more, improving our quality and creating better and more videos, but it will also get you access to some exclusive content. Over on the Patreon, you can listen to the pilot episode of our potential new podcast that we're going to be making. There are also a number of free ways to help out the channel by liking, subscribing and leaving a comment on this video. Let us know in the comments what content you want to see next. And let's get into this battle report. And first turn priority went to the defenders of Minas Tirith, so Daly just started pulling his front line back. Then it was Gandalf's turn to move. So casting Sorceress Blast with Gandalf. Yep, we'll use his free one and one from the store. We do get the Got big it on a Rivendell six. six. So that's a six on the Troll Chieftain. Now if I was clever, there would be a, a guy behind the Troll Chieftain to catch him. But there isn't, so I'm not going to resist. No, the, the myths of you being clever have long since been... Oh, stopped. don't worry. I've lost, <laughs> I've lost a lot of games on this channel. Let's see how far back I go. Not resisting? Not resisting. Big two uh, inches. Just two. All right, that's not too bad, uh, but I will be prone as well. Um, roll the hit. Do I take any damage? Uh, let's see if we can get another big Rivendell 6. No. No. And following that, Daedalus' line is just pushing forwards. He gets both Denethor and the Knight of the White Tower into the combat because both of those heroes can easily kill an orc per turn. One of Daedalus' warriors of Minas Tirith charged into the Troll Chieftain on the ground. That means I need to win my fight if I want to stand up so I won't be getting any kills with the Troll this turn. And that goes into my movement phase where I'm just charging my line of orcs over on the flank into this line of warriors of Minas Tirith. I've got Gothmog over here, so all my orcs within three inches of him are getting plus one to wound, meaning I should rip through them. And these guys are gonna go for that objective, try to climb up the banks and kill those archers. And to finish up my move, my last thing is gonna be my Nazgul casting a Drain Courage on Denethor. This goes off on a two. Got on a four. Daily, do you wanna resist that? Look, he's got... Courage six at the moment, so I'm gonna let that one slide, um, and hopefully he doesn't slide 
too far into absolute madness. And that was the end of the movement phase, which takes us into shooting, where daily six archers fired, but did not manage to get a single kill. And the fight phase started with me losing a fight, even though I way outnumbered these warriors of Minas Tirith, which was sad because I definitely would have been able to kill that guy. And our next fight is Gothmog charging in against two warriors of Minas Tirith. You want to set the bar for me? Yep, two brave sacrifices. Uh, in the tray. We got a two It's high. not good. I am on a, a three, three will do it. A four. four will do it. <laughs> Gothmog needs fives to wounds here. He's strength four, they're d6, but they've got shield wall, and I have a built in plus one for hatred man. Uh, yeah, he is dead. I reckon that'll do him. And this is a great turn one because both Daly and I just set up on the center line ready to smash face and we're straight into the fights. After Gothmog got his kill, I got two more kills in a row, which was really nice because I'm really punching through these guys quickly. Over on the other side, Denethor managed to kill the first Moranin to go down. The Neither White Tower followed that up by getting another kill. And then the rest of the fights went evenly and no more models died in those fights. And last fight of the turn is my Troll Chieftain fighting one warrior of Minas Tirith. You want to set the bar for me? Yeah, so a bit of strategy here. I am going to shield oh, just absolutely. with the hope that you don't stand up. Yeah. Would be really nice. Oh, it's all the six. It's four. Uh, I'm going to four as well. You've got a banner reroller. I do have a banner, and we can't do it. Okay, nice. Unlucky. So I'll take out my prone token, but that's all I'm going to do. All right, we'll back away, sir. And next turn priority went to daily. Over on this side, I decided not to call heroic, so he's just charging into my lines of orcs. Gandalf is going to use one from his store and a free one. Uh, and we're going to... Uh, let's compel the troll chieftain. Ooh, okay. Yeah. You get a five. You get a five. So that's a problem. Um... I'm actually going to use a point of might on that as well. Oh, okay, so you really want that. So you pushed it to a six? Yep. Um, I will be resisting that because there is a Knight of the White Tower with a strike and a Mighty Blow Sword coming in to get me. So let's use a Conquest Dice. Let's see a natural six. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um... Justice! <laughs> not quite what I was looking for. Troll Chieftain is compelled. Where do you want to put him? Um... We're actually going to be quite funny with this. We're going to move him to trap your own models. He's just going to pop over here um, and just make sure that basically he's out of a hurl. Should that? Oh no, you can't hurl anyway. Your uh, yeah. It's fixed. So it doesn't really matter where he is. I think we start with this gentleman here. Absolutely. We just we really need one of the next two to pass, and that will do it. That is an easy pass for him. So he will just go all the way around. This guy will just go here. So we can take a courage test with the Knight of the White Tower. Yeah, now their courage actually isn't phenomenal. I think it's four base, plus one for the army bonus, minus one for my Harbinger of Evil. Yep. Uh, you do have a will point. But I do have a will point. Let's, uh, let's see what you can do. A five, it will cost you a will point to get in. That is absolutely fine. Yeah. And to finish off Daly's move, on the other flank, he's just pulling back with these warriors. I think he's trying to bait me into chasing them, these guys with too many of my soldiers to draw me away from the rest of his army. That went into my move where I'm just charging up the stairs for that objective, and all of these guys are just advancing. Now, I am going to fall for Daly's bait here. I'm going to send some guys chasing after his warriors that are running away. And we're nearly at the end of my move phase with my orcs swarming over this objective and some guys running for that other back one. But the last thing that we have to do is my Nazgul in there hasn't moved yet. And in the start of his move, he's actually going to do a two dice transfix. Two dice? Two dice. I really want this to happen. Onto your Knight of the White Tower. And I've got it. Uh, cool. You've got no will, so you're transfixed. Excellent. My Nazgul just finished his move by adjusting to within six inches of the Troll Chieftain so he can call a heroic move next turn. And that took us into the shooting phase. This turn, Delhi had one archer who was tied up in combat, so the three on this side shot in and they managed to get a kill. The other two didn't kill anyone. So that takes us into the combat phase where I'm going to be calling a heroic combat with Gothmog. 
My logic here is, well, firstly, I can get a kill and I can get all those Moranans who were back here at the start of the turn even further forward, so hopefully it can start to envelop. And Gothmog can get within six inches of Gandalf the White, meaning if Daly wants to call a heroic move, I'll be able to master a battle it. Any heroics from you, Daly? Uh, I don't have any untransfixed heroes in combat, so no. Cool. All right, well, let's just get into it. Uh, you've got one guy in there fighting Gothmog and four dudes, and it looks yep. like we've got a spear in there. I'll, I'll roll my one hero dice first. Let's see it. Come um, on. Minus Terrace dice for him, or...? or yeah, we're, we're looking for a big tree here. It's not a good I'll tell start. You, what, you just rolled a wound. All right. <laughs> Gothmog's rolled us to wound. Um, oh, it's not looking good. Um, a three? That, no, that won't do it's it. not looking good. All right, you are trapped, so Gothmog's going to roll again. And, oh, that's oh, another please, cost dice. Please, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Gothmog is a uh, bit of performance anxiety. These are his four friends. And oh, oh, one four. Oh, no. Four will do it. That's no. hilarious. Wow. Get him out. Quality uh, Minister of the Armor there, almost doing its job. Well, that wasn't the most impressive rolling, but I'm using this heroic combat just to move all my troops forward and charge Gothmog into two more warriors. Across on the other side, I lost a Moran into some warriors and then Denethor got his second kill of the game. Then I lost a Moran into the Charging Knight of Minas Tirith, but that was okay because I followed it by getting a kill. Close to the objective, I lost the fight and pushed back, but I'm okay with that. I've got plenty of time to kill these two archers. Alright, next fight is our Troll Chieftain. You've got one, two, three, four, and the Knight of the White Tower. Uh, six is good. There is a six. There's Ooh. a five. So I am trapped, um, but the Knight of the White Tower can't strike blows, and your other guys are strength three versus my D8. I'm not going to spend a point of mine. I'm just going to let that through. Of course we get the two. Two Rivendell two sixes. Rivendell sixes. <laughs> two twos here would be just beautiful. Uh, one wound. I'll take a wound. I, I'll take a wound for that. Cool. Last fight of the turn, we've got Gothmog fighting... Gothmog. Four dice. And his giant unmuted wag. Um, I'm going to stab <laughs> on my front two guys. All right. We do get the Rivendell Six. Uh, we love a Rivendell Six. Banner. Oh, oh. there we go. <laughs> I'm going to kill these guys relatively easily, I hope. So the first guy is dead. <laughs> and the next guy is also dead. That was, um, that was a couple of sixes in there. All right. Well, that was a pretty exciting turn. We've both taken seven casualties. Um, let's go into a pretty important priority role here. At least, I really want to win it. Um, which, I mean, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I want a four. I can beat a four. You cannot. So that is my priority. Do you want to call a heroic move? Look, it's, it's not ideal, but I will call a move with the Knight of the White Tower. So he is going to hit Gandalf there. He certainly and is. And he is not within six of Gothmog, so I can't... Uh, master battle that. Some would say immaculate positioning. It's, that's wild. I'll call one with my Nazgul in there. So let's do a roll off. One, two, three goes evil. Can I request a battle hardened dice? Uh, a battle hardened dice. All right, I'll get a battle hardened dice because I reckon it's going to do well for me. There oh. we go. That was your request. Yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> my Nazgul in his movement is going to cast a one dice immobilize at the Knight of the White Tower. He's got six will, so this takes him down to five and he gets it. Uh, you don't have any will, so he's just immobilized. And then the Troll Chieftain is, I'm gonna make you take some courage test, so he's gonna charge just the Knight of the White Tower. And then this Orc, who's a little bit um, hopeless, is gonna charge into Denethor and that guy. That will cancel your heroic, so it goes to the rest of my move. And Gothmog on the flank with all his warriors are just advancing, and Gothmog himself getting into combat. He can do a lot of damage, so I really want to be killing with him. And then the rest of these orcs are just running forwards, getting traps where possible, but importantly, tying up Gandalf the White. On this objective, I charged in, and then these three warriors got absolutely surrounded by orcs. This might be a little bit overkill, but those orcs are going to go for the objective after they kill those guys. Daly finished up his move by just adjusting his remaining soldiers. So, at the end of the shooting phase, Daly, how did that go? Uh, pretty much the same as every other shooting phase. I think at the moment we're just throwing handfuls of sand. Yeah. Hoping maybe some of it drifts down into your eyes, but uh, no such luck. Uh, that is going into the combat phase. Any heroics? Yeah, look, we'll leave it for now. 
I would just honestly like to do it to dismount Pippin. Yeah, get the Pipster out there, dude. He's going to absolutely slaughter some orcs when he gets out there. All right, so if there's none from you, there's none from me this turn. So I've got two on Gothmog still, two on the Troll Chief, one on the Nazgul. So I've got a ton of mine. The other thing I need to consider is, has the time of the orc come? And I think that the time of the orc hasn't come quite yet, just because I don't have that many combats. On the objective, I managed just to push back Daily Soldier, but didn't get the kill. And these three guys who were hopelessly trapped actually did pretty well. They only lost one of the fights and only lost one out of three, but they're tying up six or seven Moran and Orcs. So that's a pretty good trade. Next fight can be Gandalf. Ooh. So we've got two guys fighting him. Ew, ooh, it's, not, it's not as good as it could be. Goes to you. Still leading fives. He will get him. Yeah, he's dead. So that is your 10th kill. I think we're right on par, just about. No, you've got nine. All right. Well, hopefully I can change that. Uh, let's do Gothmog next. That'll change it, I would suggest. <laughs> yeah, so... Just on one? Yeah, Gothmog fighting one, and I did charge. I will shield. It won't matter. Yep. I won't have shield wall. So and... Balls. Yeah, got him. The next two fights did go well for me. I got two more kills, so I'm slowly chipping away at Daly's numbers. So the last fight is my troll chieftain fighting the Knight of the White Tower and a few friends. Uh, you want to set the bar for me? I will. Uh, the knight is transfixed, but he still has a point of might. So, so I'm going to get a four, four, down to a three. Yep. And then I've got two buddies. Get the six. All right. So I need a six here. Um, cool. Negativo. I'm not going to spend two points of might, so I'm just going to push on back there. Can you put another wound on me? Six. Give it a red hot crack. Ooh. All right. Um, so I've still got two wounds and a fate. Um, but yeah, that, yeah that, that went pretty well for the yeah. Minigon there. Yeah. That goes into the next turn. Let's roll priority. I'd really like to get this one. Yeah, you would. Ugh. Five or six to do it. Oh, he's done it. Here we go. It Ended up not calling heroic, and this guy's just charged into my Nazgul, tying him up. So that is going to cost me a will point, and it means I'm not going to cast a spell this turn. This guy is going to charge and wrap into Gothmog. Yep. Um, Denethor will charge here. Is it getting off the white's turn yet? It might be. What he's going to do is take a courage test to charge the troll. Hell yeah. All right, this is going to be awesome. He... Yep, he's good. I don't know why I rolled that for so long. You he's seem kind of nervous about coach, it. Coach but, yeah. <laughs> so it should be all right. Now, on the way in, have you used your will on the troll? I have used my will, yep. There's two choices here. I can I can do the transfix on the troll chieftain, or we can sorceress blast the banner into Gothmog, which is also kind of cool. Look, we probably have to play the percentages here and transfix the troll. Yep, it I is, think it's the right call. Sad. How many dice are you using? Just one? Or? Uh, we'll use one from the store, just to make sure. Yep, yeah, you got plenty of will still, so... Um, goes off on a three, I believe? Yeah, something like that. Three yeah. or a two. That'll do it. Definitely goes off on a five. So, I'm out of will, so I am transfixed. Um, uh, that troll is looking and like... He... just before we get there... Oh, no! Pippin is going to dismount. Oh, no. This is truly the death bells ringing, then. So, oh. we'll, get, we'll get him off. Gandalf will go in, uh, Pippin. Next, the Knight of the White Tower and some other warriors have gone to a charged into that troll. These guys are actually going to climb down. Oh, okay. So just as they lie, oh, oh one of them's oh. maybe dead. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> That's good. We love <laughs> that. There's always going to be a lot to ask. This guy, I think, just charges him and wraps around just to make it maybe a little bit annoying for you. The other guy's just in a world of trouble. He's not going to um, So maybe he hits those two. And after Daly's move, that went into mine, where I'm just rushing my orcs forward and trying to trap as many guys as possible and just get stuck into this fight. This one guy is going up after the objective. After the move phase, we went into another very exciting shooting phase. Daly, what happened? Uh, these two guys channeled their inner Legolas um, and both missed. Yeah, yeah, they didn't channel the part where Legolas did stuff. No. Surely he misses at least one shot in the movies. I think they uh, they channeled their Legolas and just sat there combing their hair for the turn. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so that's going to go combats. Any heroics? Uh, I will strike with the Knight of the White Tower. 
And I'm gonna strike with Gandalf as well. The double strike. So really, you can master a battle that if you want. I will just for fun. Um, double um, strike. You're sure about the double strike? I, I think you have to. When you've got that much in, I think if I win, I kill him. If I fluff the strike, it's just another turn where I've got to devote a lot of resources there. Yeah. And um, on a one, you're lower than me. On a two, you match me. You do have an elven blade, but this way you you're almost guaranteeing it, pretty much. We're trying. I would love to strike, but I can't because I'm immobilized, so um, let's just start fighting. Denethor got yet another kill. He hasn't failed a broken mind test yet, and he's just been consistently killing a model per turn. But after that, the orcs turned it on this turn. We went five kills out of the next five combats, which felt incredible to take this many men of Minas Tirith off the board. And by getting this many kills, it means that Daily is now broken. He did still finish by killing one of my orcs. Our next one in here is Gothmog. Yep, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab. Me. Yeah, alright. Well, that kind of ruins oh, it. Sorry. Not, that does a little bit. Um, at least you're alive. Well, I do have to roll my stab. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, <sighs> yeah, that's, that's on you, man. Yeah, it happens. You get greedy sometimes. The next fight is the Nazgul, one on one -y. Um Yep, so I'm strategically going to shield here. Yeah. And the idea being that I will force you to back away and fall down that ledge there. Get, yeah. his, get his robes all dirty. It's, I don't like being dirty, not one bit. Uh, you want to set the bar for me? I will. Um, neither of us have a banner, so I'll just get a four. Four. It's not great. I'm it's on better, a one. It's better than a one. So I will be tumbling. You will be tumbling. Um, I'll say, oh, you know, I'm falling down a cliff here. I'll go prone. I'll take a strength three as well if you want. Yeah. Do you want to roll it? Uh, sure. Let's do it on a big conquest, guys. Oh. It won't betray the master. That leaves us one big fight to go. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, so do you want to start with your strikes? Yeah, so Gandalf's going to strike on the Rivendell dice and yep. the Knight of the White Tower, of course, on the big tree. So pretty much you want higher than a two on at least one of these. Would be good. We it's get there looking on both. good. Okay, so Knight of the White Tower gonna faint in that case? Uh, he will, he will. Set a bar for you. You gotta beat a four. Not a great bar. Not super high. Uh, we go to Gandalf first. He'll get a five. Get a five, and my ban is not within three inches, so that's all yours. Uh, There's one. One. So I've got one wound, one fate. Uh, we'll do Pip. Come on. I wanna see Pip and get this kill. He does still have a point uh, as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Then we've got our lance, which is pretty important. Only fives by, fives by threes. threes. Yep. Uh, and he's got four. Ooh, uh, that's wow. looking very promising. He might not even get to the Knight of the White Tower. Yeah. But the Knight's going to just slam well, him. Let's, let's see how many wounds the Knight of the White Tower can now do. Yep. Because he needs fives rerolling ones. And they each do two. Uh, Reroll the one. Because he fainted. No. No. He did six wounds to my troll chieftain in total. And my banner. And the banner. No. Cool. So into the next turn, priority went evil, which was really nice. Daily, what are you doing in here? Uh, I'm going to call a heroic move with Pippin. Yep. Um, which only leaves me with one might on the board with Gandalf against just the endless master of battles and all the Gothmog's might. But that's fine. I think... We just need to try and win the roll off and fix our positioning here a bit. And yep. then we can, I think we can really start to push back this, uh, this wave. Yeah, so I'm going to call, I could obviously master battle for free with um, Gothmog, but instead I'm going to call with my Nazgul who's chilling out on the ground here. Because <laughs> um, he's in a lot of strife and he's still got a point of mind. So I'm going to call it with him and that's going to open up Gothmog to move in a bit more easily. Uh, I've got the roll off. One, two, three goes evil. I've won basically all of these. Uh, every single one. So I don't see why why anything would change now. I don't either. And um, no, it did not. I'll start here. Nazgul stands up, charges Pippin and Gandalf, and on the way in, he's got four will at this stage. Um, I'm going to chuck one into a uh, Drain Courage on Denethor. Nice. Do you want to resist it? Yeah, I will. I need to do it for this turn before we do anything. We keep Yeah, true. It. So this will see where I have any will left. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't actually. <laughs> so that was a one and a two, and you're currently 
courage four because you get yeah. plus one for the armor bonus, minus two for all my stuff. So I can use all three will. You can use all three will to pass. Yeah, I will do that. Cool. So okay. the drain courage automatically has gone off. In that case, you, your courage has been drained. Brilliant. And that went into the rest of my move phase, which just started out with me using my orcs as much as possible to engage Daly's troops. And now, here's where I think I'm making a mistake. I'm putting a ton of guys on these backfield objectives because I'm worried that if I break, I'll need a lot of guys there to pass their courage checks. End of my move phase, I've lost 13 models in total and I started with 33. So you gotta kill 17 to break me. Which means uh, you only need to kill four more, which is actually pretty reasonable. And objectives are what matters, and I actually don't really control that many at the moment. Your courage, of course, who do you want to start with? Is it the Knight of the White Tower? Yeah, it is, but we're... I'm a little worried we might have seen the last of the Knight of the White Tower. <laughs> hey, I've got a good feeling. Um, Positive thoughts here. Yeah, so he needs at least a six. He's he good. He's happy to be in. here. And that stand fast is very important. That stand fast will cover everyone. Yeah. Um, Daly just sent the Knight of the White Tower into combat, and then with this knight, he just positioned him in a way where he gets stand fast, and next turn, if it looks like the game's gonna be over, he can rush for that objective. Daly has 15 models left alive, and I need to get him down to eight to end this game. So seven more models to kill before it's all over. And going into this combat phase, I will be declaring the time of the orc has come. I've got plenty of fights and hopefully it can get me some kills. That means I reroll all failed wounds within 12 inches of Gothmog. And the combat phase started pretty cold for me. I'm rerolling all failed wounds, but that only matters if you get to roll to wound. And I lost a ton of fights here. The fights that I did win, I managed to get some kills. So I took out two of Daly's models in this phase, but overall, a pretty weak time with the orc has come. So I really need to be building a bit more momentum if I want to keep my lead here. And the last fight is my Nazgul fighting Gandalf the White and Pippin. Uh, I'll set a bar for you. I'm fight five, I want a four. It's a pretty good bar. It's not terrible. We can beat it. You have beaten it. Now, can you get the kill? I am defense eight. And I do have two fates. I reckon I'll survive this. Uh, that's uh, that's a six from Pippin. Oh, it's from Pippin, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he's only strength two, I believe. <laughs> that so won't do it. not a wound. <laughs> so I'll push back and I've got two will points left. Priority went to the good side this turn, so I decided to use Gothmog's point of might to call a heroic move. That means he has one left. Deadly, what did you do? Uh, I'm going to counter with Gandalf, because uh, I just need to try and get rid of this Harbinger so my heroes stick around, and yeah, maybe do some magic. Yeah, so let's see the roll off. One, two, three goes evil, four, five, six goes good. Oh, he's got his first one for the there game! There go. Look, good things happen to good people very rarely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually use two from Gandalf's store. Here. Okay, so this is an expensive cast. It is. So it'll be three dice all at banishing Mr. Ringwraith and just trying to get rid of that Harbinger so I can pass some courage tests. Yeah, okay, so this that will just put me on fate points, but fate points aren't that reliable. Yeah, you can fail those, that's that's good. All right, let's see it. Uh, only a five. Fate number one. <laughs> Sweet. So sad. He is just gonna finish up charging the Ringwraith. He passed his courage test for that. Yeah, Knight of the White Tower courage test. Uh, Sticks around. Courage four, plus one, minus one, he's good, yeah. Keeping that Knight of the White Tower still standing is massive for Daily. It just gives him more stand fast on the board, which is essential when you're broken. The rest of his soldiers just engaged, including Denethor, who's going for probably his probably eighth kill by now. And then Daly's just reinforcing his objectives as he can. In my move, I'm just charging in and I'm bringing some of my guys away from the objectives because I realize I've overcommitted there and I need to get some guys close to Gothmog in case I break so they can get hit by the stand fast. And Denethor, of course, got another kill, which is huge. Then the Knight of the White Tower followed that by killing another orc. And in the battle line, things didn't go that well for me. I lost one guy and didn't get any kills. So that's, that's a big problem. Gothmog next. Uh, you charged me. I did. Um, so I'll, you set the bar for me. Yep. Uh, we'll do the banner on Rivendell. Ooh. Two sixes. Ooh. Oh, cocked. <laughs> that was cocked dice and two out of the tray. So I'm gonna reroll all of that. Nice. Uh, banner. Nice. Goes to you. Last point of mine? No. I will be striking the dog. Don't kill my wag. Let's neuter. Don't do it. 
He's dead. He's dead. And now the alarm bells are starting to ring. I thought I was so far ahead, but now I'm just one model off broken, and it's Gandalf fighting my ring wraith. I really need him to survive this. I think I'm going to two hand. All right. See if you get a six. I got a five, so you five. need a six to match me. We can do that. You did? All right, you've got an elven blade, so three, four, five, six goes to Gandalf. Do the roll off. <laughs> Oh, he's done oh, it! Oh, it goes good. Okay, you haven't done it yet, though. You need... Uh, no, we've done it. We've done it. Let's see a five. Easy. Six um, dice. Yeah. Ooh. I think that's, that's uh, four wounds. That's four wounds, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's him done. At the end of the turn, this is a very tight spot in the game. I am broken, and orcs are only courage two. I am outnumbering you, so I'll get plus one on my courage, but it's still not fantastic. And you're broken. How far off quarter are you? You gotta be getting there. Eight models left alive is quartered. Four off being quartered. Four off being quartered. Okay. Well, let's roll priority because um, this is a pretty important one. Yep. Just all evil all day. Okay. I'm fine with that, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's actually not that fantastic. And at the start of the turn, Denethor took his broken mind courage test daily. What happened? Um, so the only logical thing after getting rid of the Harbinger of Evil and, you know, winning combats for a turn was that he completely lost his mind. Yeah. Um, and now he's going to try and join the losing side. Yeah, so here's my model for this turn because he has gone crazy. I don't really know what happened there. You, I lost the Harbinger and you broke me, but he obviously was not a fan of either of those things happening. No, he, uh, he thrives under pressure, so with the pressure off, he, uh, he's decided to just completely lose the plot. Oh, I've spent a long time thinking about what I'm going to do here, and Gothmog is just going to go around to here. Now, he's not running away. Well, he, he's just telling his, his friends... He's reorganising. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So now he's in a great spot for his standby. At this stage in the game, things are super tight, so I cannot afford to make a mistake. I have a lead here, and I don't want to squander it. My orcs up at this side did well with their courage, passing three out of four. The mortal army bonus was super helpful. I had two guys flee off this objective, but that's okay. I've sent one guy over to claim it in case the game ends this turn, and this other orc is staying just within six inches of Gothmog, so that next turn, his stand fast will affect him. And I still have one point of might, so I know that I will be able to get Gothmog stand fast. Denethor's on my team this turn, which is hilarious. So that goes into your move daily. Starting with the Knight of the White Tower's courage check. Yep. So he's courage four, but plus one to courage five. So he should be fine now that Harbinger's gone. Hopefully. Oh, beautiful. Get it. The Knight of the White Tower went for the objective instead of going to kill more orcs. And the Knight of Minas Tirith was able to run back towards the battle line because the warrior could claim that objective. So Gandalf's just going to pop up to here. And he's just going to Sorceress Blast the orc uh, into Gothmog on the banner. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll just use our free one, just in case we have any horror shows with uh, standfasts. It will go off. Yep. Doesn't yeah. matter how far he'll go back. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, so we'll do the two strength threes and the strength six. Uh, strength five from Sorceress Blast. Oh. So he's alive. He's alive. Uh, the banner is he's alive. alive. And Gothmog. Get that leader. Sweet, sweet leader VP. No, so they're all alive, but all three of those models are knocked prone. Which is kind of cool. That took us into the combat phase where things started off well for me, getting a kill and putting a wound on Pippin. All right, huge one here. Denethor fighting two warriors in Minas Tirith. What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to double shield because obviously we can't and don't really want to strike blows um, yep. against our Lord Steward. <laughs> I'm on a oh, three. three. Nice. I got um, a six. Denethor's going to use your banner. Yep. Seems completely legit. Oh, no. So he's Thank lost it. Thank the Lord. Yeah, I think it might be the first fight he's lost for the whole game. Yeah. He's not my man of the match. <laughs> The last fight saw me killing the warrior defending the objective, and that takes us into next turn. This turn, Denethor once again failed his broken mind courage test, so he is on my team, and priority went to the good side. I do have a point of might with Gothmog, but he's looking pretty safe, so I'm not going to use it. It's very ironic that Denethor has only started failing his courage test when it looks like we might actually <laughs> come yeah, back. Yeah, now that you've pulled it back. Um, he really is a great saboteur. And in Daly's move, he started with the Knight of the White Tower, who passed yet another courage check. So he's holding that objective, and his stand fast reaches this other guy. Moving Gandalf, what's the plan? He's just going to Sorceress Blast the banner into this bit of terrain. Yep, absolutely. Uh, he'll do his courage test first. He passes. passes. Sorceress Blast goes off. Gets it. Uh, I'll hit the crate. 
So it'll be a strength five and a strength six? That's correct. So strength five. No. Strength six. Please don't make me do it the other way. Thank you. There we go. Take out the bannerman. So the banner will die, yeah. finally. And then Gandalf will finish his move by just charging these two orcs over towards this objective. Uh, and then this guy just might help out with the double shield on Denethor. Oh, I really want to pass some courage checks here. I'm going to start with this guy just by himself. He is not within standfast range of Gothmog. He's all good. So he's controlling that objective. On the other objective, I had two orcs run away, but thankfully one stayed to hold the objective. The Gothmog is just going to stand up and go into combat. He's going to take a courage test. Uh, oh. He's going to pass. And he's just going to run six inches towards that objective. Into the last combat phase here, if I lose one more model, this game is all over, and I'm kind of expecting that to happen. Because of that, I'm going to call heroic combat with Gothmog's last point of might. You want to set the bar for me? Big six. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> I'll just push back. <laughs> that is amazing. That was a point of might well spent. Gandalf fighting two guys. Now, yep. um, I'll piercing strike with one of them who can. The other guy has a sword. So the one's the green dice. Set me a bar. Ooh. It's not great. It's I'll just roll the wound. Yeah. Um, uh, still needing fives. So on the do your piercing. My piercing goes down by one. That's great. Gives me fours. Yeah. So on him, he's dead. And on the other guy, he will die. Okay, so that means I'm courted. And then the combat phase finished off with me getting a kill on the knight, losing a fight with some Moranon orcs, but then Denethor managed to win his fight and get a kill against his own warrior of Minas Tirith, which also quarters Minas Tirith. Here we are at the end of the game. I'm quartered. I think you're quartered as well, right? Uh, I believe so. One, two, three. Yeah, if, yeah, no, I think you definitely are. So both quarter on the final turn. Let's count up some points. You get two for this one. You get two for this one. That puts you on four. Now, within three inches of this, looks like you've got five models. I've only got four. So that's a point to you. So that puts you on five. I've got one there. I've got one there. So that's two each for me. Uh, we're both broken. And I have not wounded Denethor all game. So that means you will win by one victory point. That's pretty unbelievable. That was an incredible turnaround from Gondor. I would, I would love to go through and see a points, uh, points taken away by Denethor because I think he killed at least seven or eight Moranans. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, look, unbelievable stuff from him. Uh, yeah, look, worked out pretty well. Um, Found it interesting that Denethor wanted to be on my team right up until the point where it looked like we might win, and then he then he jumped over and, and switched sides at the end. But he he really was probably VIP. He just hacked his way through a bunch of Moranans, um, and yeah, get off the white, not fluffing any magic. Pretty pretty unbelievable to see. So happy with the happy with the result. Well played to Daily. That was an awesome list to get a win with. Thanks for watching.